guys, RC here, back with FM20, our journeyman save, climbing the ladder. We are in Season 6, Episode 3, with our fifth club, FK Carl Scrona. After last episode, where we started suffering a letdown, Hammerby wasn't a surprise, Brahma Pajama was, Gothenburg kind of was, uh, but we beat Nor Coping 2-1. Goals from Michael O'Driscoll up top, Marcus Larson in the midfield with goals. Team TG, Carl Evans, uh, our strong central midfielder with the game's only goal. Arebro, a 2-0 loss. This was a little shocking, to be fair. Uh, we beat Angel Holmes, 1-0. Pontus Pison with a penalty after he came on in the 73rd minute. And we drubbed Azur Gardens, 4-0. Carl Evans with a goal, Pison, O'Driscoll, and then Daniel England got a goal for us, so that was good. Uh, Alvin Gunner's a small injury, uh, so that's what's going on there. Uh, so four wins in five matches. That has us currently sitting second in the table. We're still five points behind Hammerby, one point in front of AIK. We do have a game in hand with uh, AIK and Malmo. Uh, Kalmar's right there. So uh, still a long way to go, of course, but we're playing well. Um, what I have done is I have brought in a new tactic. It's a tweak tactic. It's a tweak to, uh, to the system. And uh, I'm actually using it in my solo save. And we just finished. Uh, we won, I won League One with Sunderland. They had gotten relegated. Uh, I took over. Let me adjust this here, fellas. There we go. And um, we ended up going on a 20-match win streak to end the season there. So fingers crossed that we can do some damage with that here in Sweden as well. Uh, so let's get into it. We are playing uh, Gothenburg today, and then we'll play Malmo in a week's time. So those will be the two matches today. All right, Gunners is out with pulled ankle ligaments. Uh, says he'll be out about three weeks. So that's going to be a loss in the central mid. Uh, let's see. We are underdogs against Hawken. So I want to go to that tactic. Now let me just kind of spot check because I want to say... I've been using everything as it's done. You know what? I'm going to keep that. Let's try the offsides trap. I know that's supposed to be relatively strong. Well, if it, you would have shown me everything, I would have remembered I hadn't done that yet. There we go. Gabriel Cunico. 25-year-old Italian, $100,000. Is he a new guy? Yeah. Oh, we just picked him up. Oh, well, let's take a look at transfers. Haven't recorded this in a couple of days, so let's see. So this was from May 1st. Hmm. Nothing there. All right, so yeah, he's, he's the new guy. We signed, I guess we signed him. Uh, valued at 9500 He's making 100000 a year. Four-star potential right back. Very, very solid physically. He's a 25-year-old Italian. He can do defensive work, but he's also pretty solid going forward. Good first touch, average passing. Uh, really like his mentals as well. Work rate could be a little higher, but aggression, concentration, decision-making, determination, all pretty good. So we'll get him in there. And let's jump back here a little bit. I just want to, there we are. So he gets number five. Any day. There we are. All right. So, uh, Larson, Limbach. So he's on the bench. All right. Dressing room. Pick up where you left off. Oh, you know what I want to do? I do want to change one thing. I want to change this to cautious. That is definitely one thing that I did. All right, Larson Jacobson with a quick one touch. 
Larson plays it deep into the corner to Thompson. Nah, that's not good. Oh, he lumps it out. Bailey to Jacobson. Back on the attack. Evans. Thompson, good. First. Oh, what a shot. His first goal of the season. Carl Evans with a nice ball into the box. I thought Thompson was going to square that, and he just pinged it. What a blistering shot. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Yeah, I hear you. You're laying upside down, so you want me to play with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Anelli. Oh, he's dangerous looking. Tiago laying on his back, taps it with his toe for his third goal. We had plenty of defenders back. I'm wondering if that offsides trap's going to... Because I don't remember if I turned that off or not. No, oh, I thought... Who was that? Bailey. Should have had that. Gee whiz. All right, let's get creative. Are you knocking stuff off my desk now, too? Gee whiz. The danger men. Oh, there's a dangerous ball out to Mortison. Good clearance. Comes right back at us. Pinged in again. Oh, Erickson beats our man to the ball. Who is that? Evans. All right. Solid defense. We're not getting a good clearance on the ball, though. Oh, he had to have been off sides. Come on. Really? Oh, that's bullshit. He looked so far off sides. Oh, I think he was off sides. Come on. Uh, I think he was off sides. Not happy with that. All right, let's go into the tactic. <clears throat> I'm going to turn that off. Let's drop back one notch. I'm going to have to check. I'm going to have to check my other, my other game. I don't know if you guys can hear the lawnmower going outside, but... One of my boys is out working, so I'm shh, ain't going to say nothing. All right, we're actually doing well here. I mean, all things considered. Penalty in the box. Thompson with the push on a Nelly. They were trying to help us distract the shooter so maybe he would miss hit the ball. Didn't work. He scored. 3-1. Four out of five shots on target. We're winning possession. <coughs> we need to do better. Show some passion. Early going. Fired up. Out of the gate. Nothing? Anything? Hello? Hello? Hello, Smalls? No? All right, Seeger's looking knackered. We're going to bring on Coco over there. All right, there's a good header. It went to O'Driscoll. Oh, you could have played it into the corner there to Thompson. Now, look at the first touch by Duholm. He beats Pallison. Looks like it was knocked wide by the keeper. Looked like a little deflection. Sets up a corner. All right, let's bring uh, Thompson off for Stenquist. Thompson's on the right. I think Daniel England is better out there. Yeah, let's do that. 
If they weren't so tired, I'd like to get some of the yellow cards off. Good clearance there. Well, it was a clearance at least. Good job. Made them clear it over. Costman surveys the pitch, lumps it. Evans plays it over the top. England on the run. Crossed right into the legs of the defender. If England would have been marking him tight, he could have been there. How about get the ball? No? No? There's a header to the other team. Fights through our defender. Poor tackle attempt. And Tiago, his fifth of the season. Uh, link back. Let's move him in for Bailey. No, nope. we are not going to do that. Victor. Yeah, Larson's not playing well. Let's pull him off. I'm all for that. Four to one. Not not what I had hoped for here in the first match, fellas. So let's see some passion from you. We've got one away fan uh, that traveled for us today. I wonder if they count the coach there. All right, we're going to have a foul just outside the box. Jacobson's pretty good with a set piece, but boy, he put it right into the wall. He held it forever and gave the guys time to get in front of him and form another wall. That was so stupid. Holy crap. Holy crap. Well, after I record this episode and I go play on my laptop some more tonight, I guess I will make sure, see what else I may or may not have changed. But that was disappointing. That was an ass kicking. An ass kicking. Boy, boy. All right, well, that drops us to third. Kalmar gets up even with us after the they draw, but the goal differential, we just lost four goals. So that sucks. All right, well, I will see you guys here in just a second. Let me get up to the next match. We play Malmo today. We have yet to beat them. We've managed a single draw. Uh, Gunners is still out. Uh, Akbar Latifi is out with a pulled thigh. He's only out for a couple of days. So this is the only match he'll miss. We are underdogs. Um, I've tweaked this a little bit more. Uh, not, a, not a ton, but we've gone cautious full time. Uh, we've taken off the offsides trap. We're going to play the higher line. And I changed Python to a, uh, or Palson, it is an L, I can't see, uh, Paulson to uh, a poacher. The tactic calls for two uh, attacking forwards, uh, or advanced forwards, I don't know, what advanced forward, that's it. I always get that one screwed up, but, all right, so we've got solid pairing in midfield, solid pairing in the central center backs. We've got a lot of green here, so, you know, it's not like it's a bad tactic. We just need to develop it a little bit. We're still competent or accomplished. A lot of that will pick up. Uh, Bjork, Coco, Seeger's back on. What's he at? Seeger's up to 96%, so that's fine. Oh, my goodness. So tired. Long day at work. I had a, uh, I had a, very big appointment uh, set up for yesterday afternoon and it was going to be a pretty big deal for for me and my company and uh, out of the blue yesterday morning they sent me a text and canceled and said we'd have to look at rescheduling so Oh, uh, man. All right, Larson, we've got the first highlight. He holds it up, crosses it into Evans, plays it out to Seeger, cuts it inside. He takes a ping, and it's into the net. Victor Seeger, his second goal of the season. Carl Evans with another assist. 
he is very key. Uh, we just made him a contract offer to extend him out for four more years. So we're hopeful that that comes to pass here in the next few days. Oh, Thompson jumps on it. Where's, oh, Driscoll, come on. You should have been on top of that ball. Damn. Oh, there's there's a misplay. Oh, Driscoll comes back and gets it. Oh, he steps over up into Seeger. Seeger pings it, pings it again. Just missed the, the brace here in the early going. Seeger's on top of things. O'Driscoll made some nice moves with the ball. We do have tighter marking. There's Evans with the pounce. Oh, he breaks in. He's on a one on one. Keeper is just caught flat footed. Evans with his second goal in the first 14 minutes. And we are up 2 0 over Malmo. Like I said, I, I had a lot of success with this tactic. So if we can get on a roll with it, it could be really good. So, but you know, we just changed it. We ju I, ha I hadn't put it in until just right before the first match. So um, let's give them some praise. All right, they did take it. All right. All right, Lynn back over the top. Seeger heads it. O'Driscoll uh, just off sides. Let's see how close that was. Uh, yeah, he was uh, he was off sides too. Fair enough. It would be nice to get the break like that. Let me know in the comments that last match. Do you guys think that guy was off sides that scored that goal? At the end of the day, it didn't matter because we got crushed. 12 to 7 on shots here in the first half. 8 of 12 on target. I think we're looking good. Looking good. All right. Early going. Lindback starting to hit that 80% mark. Thompson into the box. That one's headed out. Seeger corrals it. Into Pout. Pallison, Jacobson, back out to Seeger. Oh, he squares. He puts the cross in. He didn't square it. What a dumb announcer. Jeez. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Doesn't know what a square is. <laughs> I actually, that's a square. But, you know. Crossed into the box. A brilliant header by Seeger. Second of the game, he's on a brace. I thought, okay, I'm I'm lost. Didn't he score both of the first two goals? Maybe I mis misread that. Who? Uh, oh, Evans. Evans got a goal. Okay, that's right. All right, Larson, long throw, Paulson. Plays it through. O'Driscoll drifts out to get it. Oh, what a block. Fights through it. Keeper makes a nice save. Oh, we almost had a 4-0 advantage. O'Driscoll should put that one away. Uh, so, yeah, so playing with this tactic, and I only played with it for about half the season. Uh, like I said, we ended up on a 20-game win streak in league. We beat – so we were in league one. We were picked to finish first. Um, we won the league. We did the double. We won the, um, there's some no name cup, uh, not the Carabao cup. It's another, like some kind of trophy or something. We won that. Um, and our top goal scorer had 27 and we had another guy with 26 goals. I was like, hell Yeah. Uh, link back. Let's bring Bailey in back there. And let's bring... Boy, they're playing well. You hate to take off a hat trick, right? So let's not do that. Paulson. Let's bring... Uh, let's bring... Olander. 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 Most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. Put him up top.
All right, Lynn back up the left flank, crosses midfield. He's got acres of space. He gets caught, crossed in. O'Driscoll oh, finds the near post, his seventh of the season, his first of this match, and we are up 4 0. Remember, we were not favored to win this game. So I'm wondering the change uh, over to Poacher here, if that's if that's uh, got anything to do with this, or if we would have stayed with two attacking forwards, if it would have worked out the same way. Oh, the defender misses the ball there. They play it over. Good stop by the defense. Some quick one-touch passing. Werner Strom. Oh, and Seeger's going to be getting an early shower in the 70th minute. I'm certainly glad we're sporting a four-goal lead here. Um, I believe Thompson can play back here, yeah? So we'll do that. We've got two attackers up top. All right. We're going to tell him to tighten up. The wife just got home, so they're catching up in the kitchen. Uh, let's get some fresh legs on. Let's bring on Kaneko. Get him his debut this episode. Only a few minutes, but that's all right. You get the debut. Did you do anything? Kaneko, not enough time. We get the win. We climb back into second. Looks like the goal differential is 15 out of 20 on target. That's huge. Nine chances created. That's huge. We're going to give this a run, boys. I think we're going to give this a run. Uh, let's do a passionate. Uh, nobody gave us a chance, but you played magnificent. That is stellar performance. Yes, that gets us our goal differential back. Just think if we hadn't lost by four goals last match, we'd actually be pushing 10 goals. All right, let's see. Uh, we get one over. Seeger suspended for a match. Evans, one and one with a five key passes. He's looking at Lindback, who he's linked with signing. Yeah, not worried about it. All right, so that's actually pretty good. That's a bad loss, but we rebounded a pair of 4 0 clean sheets. Uh, we do have the long break here, so let me get through that. Um, oh, let's take a, a quick look. Uh, we just signed Sam Betts. He'll be joining us uh, July 15th. He comes to us from Barnett. Uh, he is a central midfielder. Very good pace. Average acceleration. Real top-notch agility. Great first touch. Decent passing. Decent technique. Um, so, yeah, I think he's, I think he's pretty good. He actually projects to be a five-star potential player and likely replaces Gunners in the lineup, possibly. So we'll see. Uh, let's see who else is in that central mid uh, role here. Well, actually, there's only three right now, right? So cool deal. Uh, Elijah Lloyd, he's joining us as well. I don't think you've seen him. Central mid, he can play left wing. Uh, he's got solid pace, acceleration, great first touch. Some finishing, so he could be a striker for us as well. Brilliant passing. I think, you know, so we've got a couple of new midfielders coming in. I think Evans is going to outgrow the team. So Barbados, uh, he's 20, and uh, Betts is 26. Who is, how old is Evans? He's not that old. He's not that old. 23, but he's five-star right now. I think he's going to cost, you know, we've signed him. I hope he signs the extension so we keep him under contract. Uh, five years, I think that'll tie him up and maybe give us a really good selling player. Hate to lose him, but, you know, at this level, I think we have to because we're, we're not competing with the Hammerbees, and we just don't have the money 
So this is, you know, looking to sign him long term to then make him sellable. Uh, Seeger could probably move on as well, although he's Swedish. I'd like to keep him. Evans is English, so we can actually afford to let him go. And we could see some England teams coming in. Uh, right now, he has a $225,000 release clause. Uh, it's going to be more than that on the new one. I don't remember. But anyway, where do we come back, boys? Well, we're sitting second in the table. And we just talked about you get the trade window. So I'd like to maybe get through to that at least. Uh, that's when they join us. That's end of contracts for them. Let's come back for, uh, I guess, Sunsvall and Helsingberg. A couple of, couple of bottom half of the table teams. Uh, gives us three more matches plus training. I'll probably put a couple of friendlies in there. Uh, but, you know, we can get back pretty quickly for that because, you know, I'm thinking about how much playing time I have during the work week. I do most of my playing ahead and breaks like this on the weekend just for time. Uh, but then we're we're into the home stretch of the season, so we'd be able to go maybe uh, Arebro Team TG and then Kalmar Malmo or AIK Malmo, uh, you know, Maybe do a three-match final game. Just depends on where we're at. Well, guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you don't mind. Thank you again for all the channel support. Uh, subscribers, we're closing in on that 500 subscriber mark, which will be uh, another milestone for the channel. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful, you know, that, you know, between 500 I'm, subscribers, I'm hopeful to start getting at least 10 views per episode. That's what I'm hoping for. That's the next channel milestone. You know, we get to double digits every once in a while, but you know, I'm 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 fingers crossed that we can soon get to that that 10 10 views per episode. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm putting up daily content. I think it's decent. You guys are telling me it's decent. And uh so and I believe you. And uh that's what I'm basing my my thought process off of not my own process but uh yeah i'd like to get to 10 so if you guys have any suggestions uh let me know uh if you guys know some other fm viewers that would like to maybe uh check out the channel let them know about it much appreciated we'll talk to you guys next time bye